Hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to look at modules in PowerShell. We're going to start with default modules that are available to you when you install PowerShell. Then we're going to see the components of modules. So we have PSM one file and PSD one file. We're going to talk about what are those. Then we're going to see custom modules that you can leverage in your project. Those are written by other developers. And that's one of the powerful feature of PowerShell. We have lots and lots of uh, modules already available to you in something called PowerShell gallery that you can leverage in your project. And in the end, we are going to also work on a writing custom module and see how we can use it in PowerShell. Okay, so let's start going through the default modules. So let's open terminal. and go to PowerShell. Okay, so let's see what modules are already available to us. We can check that. So we have one module which is imported, installed and imported. However, this is not the only module that is available. To view all the available modules, you need to have tag list available parameter. And now you see all these are the modules that are available to you. To view commands inside module, you can type get command and give the module name. So we can specify Microsoft. Let's look Microsoft PowerShell management module. So these are all the commandlets that are available inside PowerShell management, Microsoft PowerShell management module. Okay, now let's clear the screen. So next thing uh, what we want to see is when you type get module, right? Let's, when we type get module and we gave the list available, now, where are all these modules available? So there are three places that PowerShell looks to retrieve all the modules. So by default, PowerShell is going to look into these three places uh, for getting the system modules, all user modules and current user modules. So system modules is by default where all the package that you import and uh, install are going to be placed. All user modules is anybody who logs into the machine, those modules will be available for them. And current user modules are specifically for your usage, something that you want when you log in. So these are user specific, user specific modules, and that's why they are placed under the specific user directory. So these are the places. And then you can also specify your own custom path also using the environment variable PS module path. Now let's look at importing modules. So there are two ways to import modules. One, by default actually with the PowerShell's auto importing feature, PowerShell is smart enough to identify which modules has that command. When you run a command, it identifies which modules that the command belongs to and auto imports that module. So let's see an example for that. So I'll open up a new terminal window Okay, let's start a new session. And here, let me type again, get module. So we see there is only one module currently available. Now what happens when I type CD home directory? And then if I type get module, you see, there is a new module that is also imported. Home directory cd slash is actually nothing but a set location commandlet that is run behind the scene, which is available in PowerShell management module. So this is the auto import for feature of PowerShell. Okay, so now what if we want to explicitly import a module? So for that, we type import module. And we can 
specify the name parameter tag name and we can again type this module name so here suppose we want to have easy module so it's going to take time and it's going to load our easy module now if i check get module so i see all the easy modules are also available installed and available so that's how you explicitly import modules okay so now let's look at the components of powershell module so there are two components of a module one is the com uh, module itself and it's stored as .psm1 file and uh, we have something called module manifest file which is which is stored with the extension of ps uh, .psd1 file so let's look at how these files are created so for that i'm going to switch to visual studio which would be easier so let me and i'll open visual studio okay so here let me create a new file and we are going to call it test function dot psm one so this is our module file so it has to have the extension of dot ps one dot psm one now this file should contain function at least one function when you create a psm one file the best practice is to have all the functions inside that that has the same noun so as you know powershell uh, commandlet and functions the best practice is use is to use the verb noun pair so we have set location we have get module get command so the same the same practice has to be followed here and then you should have all the functions with the same noun so you can have for example if you you're creating a module that does operation on software so you can have get software you can have remove software you can install software so all your function should have the software as the noun so that's the best practice so let's see let's take the same example and see suppose i want to create this test function and have three uh, three function inside that right so let's say get software now let's do another function we can say install software and then we can say remove software okay so let's save that so this is our psm1 file and this has three functions in it so very good now this is the first first component for creating a module the second component as i was talking is to have a psd1 file so to create that there's an easy way what you can do is you can open terminal and you can go to powershell and then this is the command to have a, a default or initialize a manifest file so you type new module manifest and you can give path so let me just copy path of this location dot psd1 let me replace with that and then you can specify a few options so you can have let me tag in new line you can specify the author let's say my user and then you can specify another argument root module and that you can tie with test test function dot psm1 and then you can give uh, let me go to new line you can give 
description module used for deploying software okay now if you enter or we see here test function dot pst1 is created and this is the module manifest file this is a kind of a hash table so it has key value pairs and it gives the information about the module and it initializes some default parameters so that's about the components of module so now let's see how do we actually use the module that we have created the test function module how we can actually get that module displayed under get modules command commandlet so to do that we need to place our test function dot psm1 module file into this directory so let's copy this okay so one of the main rule and this this you must remember when you try to create your own modules and you place it in a directory in any of the uh, one of the three directories you must have the folder name same as your psm1 file this is the most important rule if you don't give the same name it's not going to list in your powershell so let me create a new folder and i have to call it same name so test function and inside that i need to place my let me do go to this folder copy this okay so now that this is done now let's run it again and we should see a test function somewhere here let's see get module list yes so now we see the function uh, we see the module and we see the functions also that are available in this so that's how you can actually create your own module and you can then leverage that functions that you've written you can import and then use it okay that's all for this video thanks for joining